my name is Jeremy, and welcome back to Coffee Talk Episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly. Let's get back into the game here. Barely got the first night over with, had a couple new characters, but some familiar faces. Uh, let's continue the game. Oh, we left off where the newspaper pops up. There it is. Future of dating, how AI may steal your potential mates with increasing sentiency. 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 Uh, I love the meme reference there, that's cool. <laughs> God, look at that. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, me being a single guy. The idea of making the perfect robot, it's enticing. More Le Morris Lester. See, this is, this, again, this is from the first one. Morris Lester was the one that was like the one running the cat girls um, show and stuff. Morris Lester's conviction stands after an appeal rejected. Good. Controversial motive behind the ex fire agent's investigation. A deep dive. Free of charge. Alright, let's start the day. And let's not mess up any drinks this time. I'll try it. Uh oh. Well, this seems better tonight. Welcome. Hey, Lucas. Hey, hiya. Hello, sir. Back so soon. <laughs> oh, yeah. And there's nothing you can do about it. You right? Wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, well, good to know. Shifty eye. Okay. Oh yeah. Kind of. Maybe. Mm. Okay, I knew it was long shot, but low key, I was kind of hoping the lady from yesterday would be here again. High key. Oh. You're my first customer today. I can see that. I know it's silly. I mean, what are the chances, right? I just want to apologize properly, I think. I'm still not sure what came, what came over me. But never bun for now. That's not the only reason I'm here anyway. But dang, Jeremy, this place is really empty, huh? Right now, yeah. That's about right. I know it's typically show up around two or three hours from now. Yeah, Pops too? You mean Officer Georgie? Yep, he's a regular, right? Right. Not every day. It does come around that time as well. I see. Then wouldn't it be better to open a few hours later? True. But new customers tend to drop by around this time. Ha! You got me there. No way, it works out for me. I'm here to do some work. Oh. Well, I'd be on hiatus, but I still gotta post a bunch of stuff. So I've got some editing to do. We need a power outlet. There's one near the wall under the table. Sweet, thanks. However, there's no Wi-Fi here. What? What is this, the Ice Age? Maybe that's why this place is so empty. Maybe. I'm choking. At least your brand game is on point here. Brand game? Hey, this place is called Coffee Talk, right? So I thought you'd say something like, We're all about talking, not surfing. Or something like that, no? Honestly, I never thought about it that way. That sounds legit. Sure, why not? <laughs> in that case, you can transfer the tagline royalties to the link in my bio. The license fee is free, since you're so cool. Thanks. Joking. Anyway, guess I better get a move on over there, huh? Oh, what? You literally just scooped it. There we go. There we go. Now I'm ready to place more. And I'm ready to take your order. What would you like to have tonight? Mm, I'm gonna stay fresh and awake. So maybe a cafe latte? Oh, no, wait! Can you make me a custom drink? Like, a cafe latte with lots of honey? I mean, a lot of honey. Like a whole beehive of it? Well, I remember t tasting more honey than milk. So might as well. Can you try making that for me? I'll do my best. Great! A cafe latte with lots of honey, please. Let's take the cafe latte here. Oh, that should be. We don't know. Uh, stories? 
So a day off, first time. I don't like these. Good luck transfer in I five downtown to point. My dream come true, mine might, Rachel. Good morning! Hi. Lucas, you are thick. Look at them. Look at them thighs. My god, Lucas. I'm, I don't even know what I'm doing. They were so thick. God. Bless America, my man. Cafe latte with coffee, milk, milk. Okay. So, coffee, honey, honey. I should just look. Honey coffee. Uh... The lighter. No. Sorry. There you go. Try that. Enjoy. What? Hey, I don't think this is what I ordered. Like at all. What are you playing at? I'm not playing anything. But I expect someone else is. Huh? What does that even mean? You okay, pal? I don't think so. You sure? Maybe you should call it a day or something. There's only me here anyway. Hello there. Nice surprise! There they are! Long time no see you two! <laughs> hey, Jeremy. It's been a while. How have you been? We were in the area, so we thought we'd stop by. I'm glad you did. Right. It's not like you were trying to change the subject or anything. Look, Aqua. All I want for you to reread re their terms carefully. And I just want to know if you'll sti still help me if I accept. I mean, it's all the just hypothetical anyway, right? What you're talking about, it doesn't reflect that. And it really bothers me. Um. Okay, I admit. I got a bit too excited about it. But putting that aside, I just want to know if you're in with me or not. Because I'm really feeling it this time, Meryl. I really want this game to be out there. Although we're not even halfway done with it yet. And about the terms, I mean, who knows, Myrtle? Maybe those are just what I need. To motivate, to work harder. And we can complete it. Motivate you, you say? Ha! <laughs> it's just pure recklessness, you know that. Aqua. I know you're not. Look, let's just give it a rest for now, okay? Okay. <clears throat> oh, hey, Jeremy. Hello. Sorry you had to see that. No, no, it's fine. We were in the middle of something. Sorry for the hassle. It's really, really fine. Honestly, I'm just glad you're both here. After such a long while. So, can I get you anything to drink? Yes, just give me a moment. Um, take your time. How about you, Miss Myrtle? I have a special milk tea. I have a spiced milk tea. Spiced in what way? Cinnamon would be good. Or whatever you think is better. I'll have one spiced milk tea. Okay, one spiced milk tea. That's more tough. Let's see here. Friends here. Uh, aqua. There is Aqua. The sea, this should carry over. Pearl. This should carry over from the other game. I don't like that. Spice milk tea. Ah, here. Spice milk tea. Oh my no. No. 
No, I'm cheating. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not messing up any more orders. No, I am cheating. I don't care. I'm tired. I'm gonna ruin the game. Um. Uh, coffee. I'm telling you, I'm cheating. Like, I'm. I'm not one of those. That just like. No coffee talk. Two. No. Except all the things. No. Is it? Milk based or recipes. Right? Spice milk tea. Looks terrible. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm tired of. I've messed three drinks up. I've made three drinks and messed every one of them up. The only one I don't think I messed up was Jordy's. But I still think I messed it up. Spiced milk tea, okay. Some cinnamon milk and tea. Right? Whatever, that's what we're gonna do. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Tea. Cinnamon milk. I told you about the other day. Yeah. Watched it yesterday with pulling an all-nighter. Sounded interesting, but couldn't remember the name. <laughs> I guess I'm ready to order two. Certainly. Oh, believe me. I see you have a new tea selection on the shelves. I do. Are those butterfly pea flowers to see? Yes. Good eye. I've been before. Pretty often, actually. Especially in the office. How do you like it prepared usually? I think it best brewed with a lot of mint. Would you make it that way for me? Sure thing. I have a blue pea tea with lots of mint, please. Blue pea tea with lots of mint. Alright, so let's uh let's go back here. 
I didn't. It didn't tell me innately. I will say this: th these are not telling me like exactly word for word what they are. It's just saying like I could just look for the ingredients. So it's been nice. Blue pea based drinks. Aha! I got you. Blue pea. Mint and mint. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Aqua's Tranquility. One specialty coming right up. Thank you. Looks nice, doesn't it? I was going to comment on that. Go reminds me of the sea. Yes! How is it? It's really good. I'm happy you like it. Another great drink made by yours truly. When I feel very anxious, I often make this tea. But usually I put a little sugar and lemon salt in it too. Really? Salt? Yes. <laughs> so what's next? You're going to try the salt, salted butter tea too? I thought you were the one who was going to try it, Myrtle. As if. I couldn't even begin to imagine how that tastes. Though I wonder how different that'd be from you, just using the plain cream. Still, not on the salt. I told Beryl about a many of hot drinks around the world the other day. We have a lot of strange recipes. You should try watching it too, Jeremy. Who knows? It might inspire you to make some new drinks. Sure, sounds interesting enough. What's Doc Mary called? Overflowing warmth. Comforting beverages around the world. Maybe sounds plain, but the content can be a bit unique. But it'd be you know, plenty of normal drinks, but you got plenty of normal drinks too. I'll check it out later. Thanks, Miss Hawk. You're welcome. And now I'm ready to tackle the night. <laughs> so we'll just do it like a. <laughs> Work piling up. Yes, but it's fine, really. I just need to free up some time so I can work further on my game. Okay. Oh! The one that got showcased at Gax something. Is it Gax Pro? Right, Gax Pro. Gax Pro. That's the one. Cool! I heard it's hard to get showcased there. So you must be really good. Oh, no, no. I mean, um, I couldn't have done it without Myrtle's help here. For real? You got like an insider entrance or something? <laughs> Whoops! Sorry for button in. One of my crew members is super into gaming, so I hear about it all the time. Anyhow, don't mind me. Please continue. She got interest, entrance, interest from one of my, her favorite publishers. Is that so? Yes. At Gaxpo, one of their reps came up to my booth on the day Merle couldn't make it. I had to stay behind in the hotel to fix a mess in my company's files. Yes, it was too bad. I was really nervous on my own. Anyway, the rep and I talked about my game for a bit. They seemed interested. There was talk about publishing my game. Oh. At the time, I thought they were just being nice. Huh. But they actually emailed me a draft of their contract last week. Sounds like great news. Am I wrong? Well, I was ecstatic at the time. They are one of my favorite publishers, after all. Right. But, not to break no the non disclosure agreement or anything, the terms weren't do get it. And by the way, you haven't signed in any NDA yet, so you're not bound to anything. That's true, but I still want to act in good faith. What for? The terms were the furthest thing from acting in good faith. If I may ask, what terms are we talking about here? I'm sorry, I'm just a bit lost. Right, sorry about that. To sum it up, they're going to invest in the game and cover all the necessity, ne necessary expenses. Great. We'll do the marketing, promotion, distribution, and all that. 
Okay. But if I'm unable to meet the deadline or refuse to adhere to their request for changes, breach any of the statement agreements in the contract, many of which are rather questionable, I must return all their money, regardless of my progress on the game. What? And it won't be cheap at all, Roger. Right? I can only imagine. If they'll do so, they'll have full ownership of the game. That sounds bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's bad. I don't know what to say. That can't be right. Can it? So what if they are the ones who breach the contract? I get to keep my game. Okay. That's it? Oh, no, that's not all. I'll have to return any of the unused investments then. What? That's what I said. That's what I said. Pardon me, but... Are they for real? I said that too. There's still plenty more, but uh... It's alright. I think I got the gist of it. When I first read it, I thought... Maybe the terms are this way because it's still a draft. I suppose, yes. I also thought that maybe it was something that could still be worked out in disguise. That is, until I asked Merle for advice. Let's see. It's a trash contract, Aqua. I know! I get it. But, just, I just keep thinking, you know, what if this is how all the contracts are? What if this is the best I can get? It's not, though. What if? Will you still help me, Merle? Or not? Is that really what's important here? Right now? Come on, Aqua. I know you're not in this dance. It'd be nice to hear what I'm actually saying. And not what you think I'm saying. What do you mean by that? Sorry, just a second. Yes, I think so. How about you, Myrtle? I think I'll stay for a minute. Oh. Okay. Then I'll see you around, Jeremy. Bye, Miss Aqua. Safe trip home. Hypothetical questions. Blah. Hypothetical questions, such as she asked if I'd still be willing to help should she accept something like this in the future. What kind of question even is that? It's as if she doesn't trust me. Or anything I say for that matter. I don't think it's because she doesn't trust you or your expertise. From her perspective, everything feels like a potential chance. So, to be faced with a questionable contract like that, from her favorite publisher, no less, she may very well be just feeling a little bit shaken up. That's a good point! Well, I'm with her, right? She has nothing to worry about. Even so, she may still She may still worry. That worried? Why don't you just say something like, Of course I'll help, but only if the terms aren't so crappy. That should do it, right? <laughs> Unless you did and she's not convinced, then I don't know. Dude, you gotta watch yourself. She'll deck you. That fist. Oh, that smoke. I thought if I tell her that, if she decides to go ahead with it anyway. I know for a fact I won't be able to refuse her at that point. Oh, I see. Besides, we already agreed from the start to only work on the game when we have the time, so... 
basically you're not sure if you want to commit. What are you talking about? Of course it's not that. Things change when you start involving money in anything. Well, can't really argue with that. I know how some of these companies work. They're looking for ideas from the small guys and find ways to pluck things they want from the project then trash the rest. No respect for the effort whatsoever. The publisher may be the one of her favorites, but that doesn't mean they're a good company. Especially with the garbage contract. It really shows what they truly are. Right. I really like working with her on that game. I honestly do. I love hearing what she wants to tell with her game. We're also not bound by some brand company rules or anything, so brainstorming ways to incorporate our ideas into the game is interesting and more enjoyable. A good change from that, what I, what I do during the day as a game designer. Right. I just want her to understand that I'm just worried about her. All valid reasons. Yeah, Jeremy is right. No, I wonder. Did you say any any of that to your pal at all? What? Why would I do that? Why would you not do that? Not to be creepy or anything, but when I overheard you guys, it's creepy. <laughs> it, it's Sir Lucas. You're an eavesdropper. Although I, you're fun, but you're not my girl. Right? Sorry. So, me being creepy aside, obviously you thought a lot about this, but like, if you all took, if all you talked about was how dumb the contract was, and not any of what you just said, woo! if I were you in our position, I'd feel pretty bummed too, because I'd be wondering if my partner still had my back, you know? Like, if they even cared at all, because it sounds like the project is her baby. Just like you said, work relationships don't mix with her. So it wouldn't be too far out if she worries about all the same stuff you do, right? that, I feel even more like an ass about what happened yesterday. Hindsight is really 2020 now. Huh. I guess it can come off that way. Just thought it would be a given she'd understand where I'm coming from. But maybe I'm taking things for granted. It's me who didn't trust her. And I just didn't want things to change. Embarrassing. Some friend I am, huh? I'm leaving. Alright. Hope everything will turn out well. We'll see. Can I have a safe journey home? Yep. Goodbye. Oh, bye! Yep. Woo! What a night. I didn't get anything done at all. That's too bad. Is that like a regular occurrence here or something? Not them specifically, just like in general. Well, you seem used to this. So the answer is definitely yes, right? Not all the time, but often enough. Cool, cool, cool. So that's the real reason why this place is called Coffee Talk now. You make people talk, I do. Well, it feels like the whole place does. Heck, even I talk about myself a lot more than I usual. Which is kind of weird, but also weirdly cathartic. I'll take that as a compliment, I think. You should. It's a feature. I reckon there's more benefit from talking things out without having to get smashed first. More embarrassing to remember, sure, but great for self-reflection. Good point. Anyhow, before I forget, could you hold on to something for me? Huh? Fidget spinner with a social media handle printed on the back. A fidget spinner? My old business card. The lady from yesterday comes again. Could you give it to her? You mean Miss Rihanna? Yes, it's Rihanna. I mean, owe her apology, you know? I couldn't find her online with just her first name, if that's even her real name. Well, maybe you could pass that along with my info to her so she can DM me. Also, in this form, it's less likely to get thrown out, right? Right? That really depends on the person. 
floor just contact him with certain stuff. Okay, bitch spinner. You think she'll throw it away? Honestly? Can't really say. <laughs> now you're making me nervous. Can you give it back? I might need it right now. Or er, sure. No, it's fine, keep it. I need to keep my all. In that case, could you please give it to her when the next time you see her? If she even comes back, that is. I'll see what I can do. Alright, sweet. Thanks, Jeremy. You're the best. Oh man. Better get going before the rain gets worse. See you Jeremy. Don't work too hard, okay? Thanks, safe trip. You take care. Last time there was thunder and lightning, it was definitely the Banshee. Woo! What a day. Black magic. Sweet, cool, and magically wakes you up. Alright. So, we're gonna end it there. Thursday, September 21st. We're gonna end the video there. Just a short little video. I know it's uh, actually recording Friday night, but you'll see this Saturday morning. After Saturday morning snap. I always have to get Saturday morning snap in. Um, but yeah, love of the episode. I refuse to mess up any more drinks. I am going to use my phone. I'm sorry. I have to. I got it. It's, it's, it's just got to be done. It's got to be done. I'm not. I messed up three drinks. I was like, no, nah, I'm done. Because it messed up the story. I'm not messing up the story. So I'm going to cheat. Kind. It's not even really cheap. It brings me a list of drinks. I have to see what she says and pick those drinks out. So, it's not that bad. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Get Saturday to morning to snap up first, then you'll see this video. So this will be actually the second video this week. And of course, Sunday, I'll get WWE 2K23 back up. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.